Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest 29 28, 29 28, and 29 27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Josh Bamat. Yes, what else can you say, man? Congratulations on a huge win. Let's start with the knee. Danny Castillo says you might have torn your ACL, some early adversity, and you fought through it just admirably, my man. I, yeah, it was definitely you guys saw. I, I saw you guys playing the replay. It was the first uh, knee. I think I like hyperextended in the first round, like maybe right here. And then I just no stability, so it's just given out. I've never experienced anything like this, but... Man, all you guys, all, not you guys, but maybe, all the journalists, man, that are counting me out. I, I see all you guys' stuff. You're saying, you guys have no idea what I'm capable of. I blew my ACL in the first 15 seconds, had to dig deep again. Another injury, you guys always count me out. So I'm going to stop, stop doing interviews with all you guys because you guys always doubt me. You said power first versus precision. I guess the power won this tonight. Well, we've been saying all week there's a whole lot more to your game than power. We know about the collegiate wrestling credentials that you don't even have to lean on. But you knew this was going to be a tough fight against Shane Burgos. I know he has your respect. Was this the type of fight that you expected tonight? Oh, of course. Yeah, he, he's a solid dude. I think he's going to do super well. And, and he's already doing well. Yeah, he's a tough guy. And I... I wish him nothing but the best. All the respect in the world. I knew it was going to be a hell of a fight. That's why I was saying I'm in for a 15-minute war. Um, if it goes a distance, it definitely did. And, uh, yeah, he definitely future champion, future contender. Dude is uh, a tough, tough dude. Hits hard and tough as hell. Look how fast he can, you know, recompose and everything like that. So, yeah, nothing but respect to him and his camp. And the toughness on your side as well, my man, with the three-fight winning streak now after that debilitating injury for you in 2018. I know the ACL needs to be checked out, but you got to feel pretty good if you're healthy as to what this win does for you at 145 pounds. Oh, definitely. I, I knew what it would do uh, with the big win. Propel me to the top. Um, I'm tired of being the gatekeeper. I'm not fighting anyone else behind me anymore. Um, I want to fight forward, you know, because I, I want to shot at that, that title eventually, and that's, that's what I'm gunning for. So no one behind me, I'm not fighting anymore. So that was definitely the last, last one. A gatekeeper he is not, and he might just be the most powerful 145-pound athlete on the planet. Congrats, man. Hope you can enjoy it with the team. Safe trip home, and we enjoyed that fight tonight. Probably going to hold up in the fight of the year conversation. Congrats, Josh. Thanks, John.